guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Today we are actually going to Disneyland. My sister is here visiting. She's putting air in my tires right now. I feel so bad because it's raining. Best sister award. Sister award. Howdy guys, today has been a long day. I've been working all day. I'm still working, I'm on my break right now. In the beginning, I had some clips for my birthday. We went to Disneyland and that Star Wars ride, The Resistance, favorite ride of all time. I mean, I will always be a big kid at heart. I love Disneyland, it's like so much fun. I went with my sister, it was just me and her because we wanted to hit up as many rides as possible and Ben just can't hang. So we were able to get through eight rides, which was so much fun. We saw snow falling, we got coffees, we drank at the bar. We did so many things, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that footage. So today, it's another week. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be working all week. While I'm on break, I do wanna show you with you guys a few items that I was able to pick up from Sephora. So if you didn't know, there's um, Disneyland has a downtown Disney section, which is filled with restaurants and shopping, and it's just, it's so much fun. So my sister and I went into Sephora, Sephora and I picked up a few things. First thing I got was uh, a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I think a glow stick or something like that. It's a birthday gift actually. So Sephora does give out birthday gifts. Their birthday gifts always tend to be really good. It's always exciting. So let's actually see the size. This is actually a really good size for Laura Mercier. I've never used, she told me it was like a highlight one. So I'm gonna have to try this out. I'll let you guys know how that is. And then I also got this stick. Let's see what this is. Okay, can you see that? And let's see how that goes on. Oh, that's actually, it's actually very like highlighty. Oh, I really like that. That is called the, oh, it's a caviar stick eye color. It's actually really pretty eye color, very natural and neutral like I like. Like I never do anything crazy with the eyes. You guys know me by now. You know my makeup is so um, basic. I also got this lip mask. So I've seen a few uh, bloggers talk about it. It's the Laneige, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, lip sleeping mask and pumpkin spice. I decided to get the pumpkin spice flavor. They have a few flavors, but I was like, it's the holiday. Let me get a holiday scented one. So it comes with this application stick and it's a pretty big jar. Oh, it smells so good. If you like pumpkin spice, it's not overpowering or anything like that. Another item I picked up was this Fenty lip gloss. So let's take a look. You guys know how much, it's not lip gloss actually, it's lipstick. You guys know how much I love my uh, brown lip color. It's just like my signature color. Wait. Wait. 
I was so confused because the packaging is like clear. Do you see that? I was like, okay, they gave me a messed up one, but no, it's actually the lipstick. It's this pretty brown color and let's see. It's cute. Sometimes it's like a little too brown where it might, it might wash out my lips. Like this one is like deep dark. This one's kind of light. So when I end up getting things like this, I like to use a lip liner. I usually use the MAC Oak, I think. The last thing I got, I already put in my makeup bag. Look, by the way, look how cute my makeup bag is. This is so cute. I actually bought this when I was in Italy when we went shopping. And you guys know that I like this material color palette. So last thing I got was this Nude Sticks. Um, I like using, during the winter, I like using cream blushes because during the summer I just get extra oily so cream blushes could just look so bad so during this the winter when it's cool and I'm not as sweaty I like putting this on and it's this really pretty pink shade I just like the deep color because it will show up on my skin tone and I'm wearing it right now like you can't tell that much I don't think but if you were let me see put some on with you guys so you can see I'm gonna put some on I usually like bring it up high and then there's a side where you can rub it but I don't like that so I just kind of I know I need to get my nails done by the way but I I just like pat it in like that and it just kind of gives you like a really pretty flush natural looking color without being too harsh you know I love blush it's like my favorite little thing so I use that in conjunction with my highlighting stick I guess since we're doing this we can even try out the Laura Mercier let's see I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this that well Oh yeah, we can. Actually, it looks really good. Can you guys tell? I don't know. I'm gonna watch this back and be like, why did I? It's cute. It's cute. Let's do some Q&A questions. I think this will be a good time for a Q&A. Not with like law, but just about me. So for anybody new, because I have a few new subscribers, well, my name is Christina, but I go by Tina. I am Nigerian, so the name that you guys see on my channel is my middle name, Adeshila Oshinuga, and so I really like using that name on my platform. Um, I am Nigerian. Both of my parents were born in Nigeria, and they came over here in their like early 20s. Um, let's see. I am a workers' comp defense attorney, but love fashion. It's like such a hobby of mine and I just love anything fashion related and I just love having this outlet to be creative because I consider myself a creative person. I always knew that I wanted to be an attorney but I also knew that I also wanted to do something with fashion so I decided to like kind of combine the two where I would make law my full-time job and make like fashion my side hustle and if anything comes from it it comes from it and it, if it doesn't it doesn't like I love it so much that it really doesn't matter I'm gonna always continue doing it because it's just something I enjoy so I started sharing things fashion related like in 2014 is when I started my YouTube so I've been on YouTube for a really long time like sometimes I go back and watch my old videos and they're so embarrassing my first video was like a makeup video and it was an hour long. Like who did I think was going to watch an hour long video of me trying to put on makeup? I love that I've documented like the process and I can see where my videos started and where they've come. I got married this year which was so fun. We had two weddings, a Nigerian wedding and an American wedding. And the wedding vlogs should be up. It's just taking a long time just because of uh, editing issues that I've run into. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. If you guys want some more Q&As, just leave them down below and I'll answer them uh, in the next video. If you guys enjoyed, if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Vlogmas. Bye!